It has been 10 years since two young women lost their lives when high water rose near the University of Kentucky campus. It's a day that many of us will never forget. Following their deaths, the city made several changes in hopes of keeping anyone else from suffering the same tragedy. Meteorologist Jim Caldwell shows us the safety improvements now in place. A slow moving storm system brought torrential rains to the region on September 22nd and 23rd, 2006, resulting in widespread flooding. But in Lexington, two young women lost their lives after being swept away in high water. UK pharmacy student Lauren Fannin and UK nursing school graduate Lindsay Harp were killed while attempting to walk across a flooded Nicholasville Road near Alumni Drive. Our chief meteorologist Chris Bailey was working that evening and recalls the event. I was working that Friday evening and I knew that this was a setup that was probably going to lead to a lot of rain. Had no idea it was going to lead to the massive flash flooding that it did. But I was here um, until about between 8 and 9 o'clock the next morning. No one can get to work uh, to relieve me at all. Between that evening and early the next morning, parts of Fayette County had received between 6 and 7 inches of rainfall. September 23rd remains one of the top 10 rainiest days in Lexington with 4.76 inches falling between midnight and 8 a.m. In my uh, tenure here, that is probably second on, uh, on the list of, uh, of severe weather events that I've had to cover March 2nd, uh, 2012, obviously being, being number one. Even without such high totals, standing water issues were common in that area due to drainage issues. In 2014, nearly eight years after Fannin and Harp were killed, the University of Kentucky started a $12 million flood control project. $9 million came from a grant received from FEMA. The project redirected part of the Big Elm Fork stream and placed a water detention basin beneath the parking lot. In Lexington, I'm WKYT meteorologist Jim Caldwell.